So with that, I'll go ahead and zoom on out. I'm sure that most of us have had a chance to write that down. And now let's go ahead here and take it to the next subtopic of combining like terms. Starting over here. So we have 7x plus 3x. My party people, quick question. Do we have the same variables? Yes, we do. Do we also have the same exponents though? We have the same letters. We have x on both. But do we have the same exponents on those variables? Oh, we do. Nice. I agree. I agree. Because remember, everybody, if it's not showing, it's always a 1. So essentially what we're saying, and this is a similar thing that I said yesterday, is, hey, if we have 7 of these x's, let me go ahead and just write a box there. If we have 7 of these things, and we have 3 of those same things, well, we now have 10 of those same things, which in this case is just going to be x. So seven of these x's plus three of those x's, that means we have 10 of these x's available. I like to three, treat uh, variables as objects. It's a lot easier to think about it in that way when you are adding and subtracting like terms. So with that said, everybody, I know that was a quick one. That's a little warm up there. Are we ready to make it slightly more complicated?